everyone! As you can tell, I am not alone in here today. I have a very special author guest with me, Brita Nisi Sherry, the author of the Element series, Art and Soul, and a few more wonderful books. Thank you so much for joining me for the Girl Talk today. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> me too. Uh, we are here at the Krakow Book Fire because of the Polish premiere of The Gravity of Oz, which is the last book in the Element series. Uh, so, why don't you tell us a little bit about this story? Start yeah, for sure. So the gravity of us is about Graham. He, Graham Russell. He is a single father, and he's very uptight and mean, and he's going through a lot of dark history from his past. So he's a very closed-off person. And then he meets Lucy, who is the complete opposite of him. He's a hippie spirit. She's a hippie spirit. She's full of life, and 100% the opposite of Graham. So Lucy comes into his life and helps him open up and believe in love again because he hasn't believed in love in a very long time. Yes, and that is a great synopsis. I have to say, I've read The Gravity of Us and I think it might be my favorite book of yours. Are you even able to choose your favorite book of yours? No, it depends on the date. So, um, The Silent Bodies is very close to me. Um, because each is based on one of the elements and I'm a water sign personally. Yeah. So writing to Silent Waters was very fun for me and super hard. It's an emotional book. But um, The Gravity of Us, I think I'm most like Lucy. So it's easy for me to connect with that book because Lucy's such a free spirit and I just love that about her. She's adorable, I have to say. Uh, and we are talking about uh, the elements, so which one is your favorite? And where the idea to base a book or a series on such an unusual topic came from? Yeah, for sure. So I've always been in love with the elements and um, Zodiac and everything that involves those kind of things. So when I came up with the idea for an element series, I thought it could be a lot of fun to explore the different elements and what kind of characters would be based in each book. So out of the elements, mine is, my favorite is water, but my second favorite is probably air because I think it, it so, so many of us have moved through life with like this kind of light heart, but then the heaviness can weigh you down. So with air, it's, it was a cool concept to be weighed down, but to be lifted up over time. So basically the inspiration can come literally from anywhere. Yes. Definitely. Okay, so we briefly mentioned the inspiration and we have to talk about emotion because if uh, your, your books have anything in common, like one thing, I think it has to be that all of them contain strong raw emotions. And actually, which emotions is the hardest one for you to describe in books? Yeah, um, I think um, grief is very hard for me to write about, but I write about it often in my stories because I think it's a concept that everyone in the world goes through. Everyone loses something they care about. Maybe even not by death, but just by something moving away or you losing a relationship of some kind. So I think grief is a very important emotion for me to showcase in my stories, but also what comes after grief, that love can re-enter your life and you can start healing. And it's so beautifully written. I have to say, I, I connect with every character, with every emotion you write down in your stories. I'm like, yeah. I'm there, I'm there, I love that. Oh, Absolutely love that. So the third topic in our girl talk has to be guys, obviously. Yeah. So what are three main traits you're looking for in a guy? In real life or in books? In, in real life and in books, I can do both. Uh, um, I think loyalty, you have to be honest. Yeah. Um, trust is a big one for me. And you also have to be able to make me laugh. Um, you can't go through life being so serious and wound yeah. up. So if, if a guy can make me laugh, that's important. And also I would say um, kindness, and not just kind to me, but kind to strangers. Like how you treat, they always say how you treat the waiter is mm -hmm. how you really are. And I think yeah. that's very, very important when looking at guys. I find um, the most attractive guys are the ones who have kind hearts to me. Yeah, I can agree. And what about books? Do you have any bookish husbands or so? Book husbands? Yeah. Um, Archer's from Archer's Voice has been my book. Yes, she husband doesn't like the story. Oh, I hate her for this. Oh. Best Wolf. Oh my god. I hate it. Oh, so he was such a sweetheart. So I love him so much. It's so bad. It's, it's so bad. Okay, uh, the next topic may sound a little bit random, but let's be real. Nothing can understand a girl better than a box of chocolates or a bottle of wine. So if you have to choose just one sweet to eat for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, good question. I would have to go with ice cream. 
and not yeah. ice cream. <laughs> All right, if we're if we're talking about wine being a sweet, I would choose wine. But um, <laughs> okay, we can count this yeah, as, yeah. as a sweet. I think you have to try a Polish candy. I have some for you. Uh, it's called Krówki in Polish. Uh, it's translated to little cows, but it's actually like a caramelly, chewy, uh, fudge-based sweet. So you can have some. You can try and tell me later if you like it. Or awesome! Not. Thank you so much. To finish off our girl talk, I have a few questions, like quick questions for you. Uh, can you choose just one from the two given, okay? Uh, so the first category is music. Harry Styles or Shawn Mendes? Ooh, and choose why is very Harry Styles. Uh, I can agree on that. Sorry. Girl, okay, but, okay, 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 that's fine. Superheroes. Uh, Spider-Man or Captain America? Captain America. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. All inclusive. So you're oh, all all inclusive. Okay. Okay. Uh, so okay. Or active. Um, all inclusive. Yeah. Uh, well, that's a hard one, but I've never been to an all inclusive, so I just want to say that and try it. <laughs> yes. But the other one, I like, cool. I like exploring too, but all inclusive. But Final answer. Just come around the city, explore yeah. a little bit, but not. Happy, happy workout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next one. Food. Pizza or spaghetti? Pizza. Yeah, Pizza. definitely. <laughs> we are all fine women here, okay? So nice cheering <laughs> yeah. my camera. And the last one. Disney princess. Uh, Cinderella or Pocahontas? Ooh. Mm. That's a rough one. That's a tough one. They're so yeah. different. Um, but I... Ooh, sorry, Pocahontas. I'm going with Cinderella. Okay. I'm going with Cinderella. Okay. <laughs> That sums up our girl talk. Thank you so much for taking your time for being here and I hope you enjoy your time in Poland. Oh, thank you so much. I love it here. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm having the best time. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to check out The Gravity of Us, which is the last book in the Element series and other books by our lovely guest. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye! Bye! -bye.